Volcano New Discovery. You know, volcanoes do wonderful job for the world. They give us carbon dioxide so that we're not a frozen planet. They also recycle water. Now, the world's most active volcano is packed full of water, according to scientists who have analyzed the violent volcano in the hope of finding clues which will allow experts to learn more about how volcanoes tick. So the world's most active volcano leads to surprising finds. It has lots of water. The volcano we're talking about is in uh, the Arctic area of the Aleutian Islands on the Ring of Fire in the Kamchatka Peninsula. It's a Shivaluk volcano. It's one of the world's most active volcanoes. The volcano in the remote region of Kamchatka, just west of the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, has erupted on a major scale more than 40 times in the last 10,000 years. The last major eruption came in 1964 when a blast from Shivaluk was so powerful it created a new crater. Shivaluk volcano has now been erupting continuously, albeit on a minor scale, for a staggering 20 years. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is the overhead aerial view of Shivaluk Volcano. Now, as such, it's considered one of the most active volcanoes on our Earth. Researchers hoping to discover what makes a volcano so active were surprised to learn that water, of course, plays a major part. Scientists from Washington University in St. Louis, based near the volcano, analyzed small nodules of primitive magma that were erupted from the volcano. Graduate student Andrea Goltz, who was the lead author of the study, said, the minerals in these nodules retain the signatures of what happened early in the magma's evolution deep in the Earth's crust. According to the research published in the journal Contributions to Mineralogy and Petrology, the magma analyzed indicated the conditions inside Shivaluk Volcano include roughly 10 to 14 percent water in weight. Most volcanoes, for reference, have less than 1 percent in water. The researchers were particularly interested in a mineral called amphibole. The amphibole acts as a good indicator of water content in a known temperature, and the chemical makes up the makes up of uh, amphibole tells researchers how much water is present deep underneath Shivaluk volcano. Michael Krasinski, assistant professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences in Arts and Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis, said, "When you convert the chemistry." of these two minerals, amphibole and olivine, into temperatures and water contents, as we do in this paper, the results are remarkably uh, remarkable both in terms of how much water and how low a temperature we are recording. The only way to get primitive, pristine materials at low temperatures is to add lots and lots of water. Adding water to rock has the same effect as adding salt to ice. You're lowering the melting point. In this case, there is so much water that the temperature is reduced to a point where amphiboles can crystallize. So, this is on by on, expressed by Sean Martin. And this is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Shivaluk in the Kanchaka Peninsula of the Ring of Fire. 